Oh my goodness! About your town link rank? Panko, pardon me! Gasp! Why are you in my house so early? Da da da! Huh? Frank! How's it going? Getting used to farming life? Reckon it about time I stop by and tell you about town link rank. Huh? What could that be? Put simply, your town link rank is a measure of how many people like you in all three towns. Farm, produce, crops, and other stuff to sell to towns, and talking to people all the time, giving them gifts and winning their affection. You both gotta work together. That's why, if you have a high town link rank, something blah blahs will happen. I'm not reading this well enough, guys. Now there are six different levels of town link rank, ranging from E to S. Why E to S? Because this is a Japanese game. No offense to any Japanese watchers, not that there would be any, but it's just kind of weird that everything goes to S. Just like, you need it higher than A. You can raise your rank with the town by doing part-time jobs in that town, shipping your produce, and going to their festivals. Those are only a few examples, though. There's also lots of different ways to raise your town link rank. You hear? You can check out what your current town link rank is in the menu. Town link rank. Press this button. And see, you start at E on all the towns. And right now we only have one town. We only have Weston. Rank, uh, raising a rank with town will get you lots of neat stuff. Shops might start carrying more products, for example. So you gotta go out and raise those ranks best you can, you hear? Yes, I do hear. I hear you loud and clear. Town link ranks? How interesting! I should check that out on the menu screen. You betcha. We received 150 gold. And we are going to check out that town link rank menu. So we have the town link rank and we have the part-time job notes. And we'll also end up with farming tips at uh, some point shortly. Uh, so right now we can see that we're already doing pretty good uh, for Weston. We're a little bit closer to getting that E rank up to a D rank. And talking to people, pressing that L button is one way to raise the ranks. Raise the ranks, raise the ranks. Let's go water some crops today. So we're gonna water our crops and I keep forgetting I can only water one at a time. So in my other game, I am in fall of year two. So I'm definitely up there and I still have more money in this game than I do in that game. Mind you, I have spent quite a bit of money. Definitely gotten a couple of awards for, for money being had. So you water your crops, you water your crops. This is the game if you didn't know what you're signing up for. All right, so we go la di da di da. We get more water from our water source. Now I, I tend to try try to fill up my farm as much as possible kind of in the beginning. I'm trying to raise crops and, and get things to be very good ranks and styles and stuff. Yeah, very, very eloquent. And when I water my crops, I like to sing my watering crop song because you water water crops. Now, does anybody remember which uh, which radish I was uh, going to put fertilizer on every day? Because I sure as heck do not remember. So let's go see our chicken. Hi, chicken. Yeah, our little cluck. Hello, cluck. Do you want to come outside, cluck? What a good cluck. Now, don't forget, you can't put them out too early because then they won't get a chance to eat. And you don't want to make it so your animal doesn't get to eat. So you want to water your, water your crops before you take your animal outside. Make sure you get the hearts. And if you're ever wondering whether or not you've taken care of your animal enough, you can always check the animal notebook. It is right in here. Check your animal notebook. And we can see right now... Cluck has a half affection to us. He's not stressed out. He is happy. His byproduct amount is 1. His byproduct level is E. His coat is E. You can see his birthday is year 1, spring 3. He's cheerful. He's had no festival wins. He's in barn, middle, and he's in a coop. So that is that is everything you need to know about him. We're going to go ahead and add one more food because as I said, I just like to keep the food topped up. I know we have 7 days of food at a time, but it's just good to remember to top that up. And we run past our shipping box and we've got nothing else to do on our farm currently. So let's go to town. Let's go make all those Western people really like us and see if we can uh, start to uh, raise affection with those, with all the peoples. So when you see sparkles here, that means something's ready to pick. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pick it. And remember, press A on all those bugs so that when we get Desi, we can uh, go ahead and get some rewards from looking at bugs. Let's go into Megan's house. I see that Megan's in here. Oh, look, look. There we go, I talked to Megan. She was on her way out anyway. Probably gonna go buy a whole bunch of stuff. There's Hector with his sheep. And there's the two kids, Colin and Noelle. La di da di da di da. Now I wonder where this area has to offer. Just some pink lupine and a cloudless giant sulfur butterfly and a little bear who doesn't seem to like us very much. Maybe we should give him fish. I'm pretty sure that's what he likes. Yeah, things are going well, Frank. Thanks so much for asking. I'm just going to run in here and talk to my favorite person in the whole world, the guy that gives me money. Hello, Horatio. How's those glasses doing? Oh, yeah, we failed that part-time job, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we don't have flowers yet, guys. Oh, no, no, we also don't have vegetables. What am I doing? <laughs> here, we can buy flowers and vegetables. I will show you an example of that. All right, we took all five jobs that Horatio was offering. la dee da dee da I meant to do that. I meant to take the jobs and have to buy stuff. That, that, was, that was done on purpose. So we don't have a hammer yet, so we can't mine in the mining spots. But we will definitely do that as soon as we can. It looks like all of our wild uh, vegetables and such are ready to go. So let's go to the post office, and you notice that... Uh, Ethan has a star above his head and you're going to deliver the post. Now, one thing I'd like to know is if I'm delivering the post, what is Wayne doing? Okay, you've got a few letters to deliver, but I'm delivering your letters. That doesn't make any sense. I swear. Wayne, like, says that it's weird to be on the receiving end of things, but I don't think he actually delivers letters. I, like, I, I'm telling you guys. So let's go upstairs to the restaurant. Everybody's on break. Hi, Marco. I do not have a minute or two to chat. I'm just casually talking to you as I run. Wait a minute. Where's Carrie and Brad? <gasps> what are they doing? They're uh, hanging out on the on the train tracks, if you know what I mean. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Brad. Yep. Yep. That was weird. All right. Let's go into the general store and let's see Miranda. The shop is closed. You can still talk to me. Did you just say your heart's coming through your stomach? Are you having a heart attack? Oh god. Ah, la 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 la. We came to town too early, but everything is gonna open shortly. So we're okay, we can totally buy flowers. Lizette, Lizette, where are you? Ah, you're cooking in your kitchen, are you? Oh, howdy, Pineco. Let's make it a nice cheerful day today too. I, I just I just like to talk to Lizette. She's pretty awesome. So we're gonna go and walk outside and everything is open for business. So maybe if we go back in here, there. Now you ha have to be open to get the deliveries from Miranda. So that's good to know. That's the package that needs delivering. So I didn't check at all who these packages need delivering to. But look, Carrie gets a package. Here you go, Carrie. There's your package. Aw, oh, you're so welcome. So let's see. Part-time job notes. We have to give Megan a letter or a package. We have to give Colin a package. We already gave Carrie one. We need two vegetables and we need four flowers. So we're going to go and see if Lizette has any flowers we can buy. And Lizette is closed today. <laughs> That's even more funny. Oh, guys. Okay, so we're going to fail two part-time jobs with Weston. <laughs> go, Pineco. That is awesome. You rock. But we are going to be able to buy some vegetables. What would Wooz like? Wooz like would you to have vegetables, but you do not. This is not working out. We should stop taking those shipping jobs. We are just making uh, fools of ourselves. Fools, I say. Uh, and you can't give the part-time jobs back. That is something to keep in mind. So um, just so you know, you cannot give the part-time jobs back. So I made a little bit of a mistake taking those, but I'm just showing you what not to do. Don't take part-time jobs that you can't, you know, deal with. So let's talk to Colin and let's give him his package. So there you go. Colin is talked to. And let's go into this barn that clearly is not big enough for all of those animals. Because, like, she has six animals and this barn is only good enough for three. Plus, she hasn't fed them. Megan! Megan! 
Where's the fodder? Where where's the fodder? You poor little sheep. Can I pet your sheep? I can't even pet your sheep. You won't let people pet your sheep. It's weird. It's weird, guys. It's really weird. All right, so let's go back home. Um, and I think we're just gonna chop down a tree. Now that I've realized that Lizette is not selling flowers yet, and we can't uh, do that. So, so uh, yeah, today was a bit of a flop. All right, let's cut down some fly flower trees. I meant to say flowers. Cutting down the tree, cutting down the tree. I hold the Dario, we're cutting down the tree. Gonna cut the tree. Gonna cut the tree. Okay. Right. So, yep. We're just cutting. We're just cutting. This is Story of Seasons, guys. If you have never played Story of Seasons before, you are really just watching me own a farm. And I imagine that farming is actually a lot more difficult than this game, like, makes it out to be. Because time does not go by, every minute is a second. And, you know, this it's funny, I love this game, and I didn't think I'd love such a, a like, a high-stress game, but I do. I, I like I like every aspect of it, and I do find that um, playing it is not exactly relaxing. Not not exactly relaxing, but certainly fun. There we go. La, 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 la. Those, I hate hammering down those uh, giant... Uh, rocks because I, I find them very annoying to hammer down so we're not quite at the max of our stamina I get so la 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 so we're gonna push ourselves pretty hard and maybe we'll go eat in town see if we can get anything so let's put our stuff away and then I will cut back to when I meet you in town all right so you may ask yourself why would you go back to town? There's nothing else to do today. You might as well just go to sleep. Well, as you saw, raising our town link is also spending money in the towns. And buying food each day is one way to spend money in the towns. And because we have uh, the extra money in the game, I think it's a very good way to raise uh, your affection and just a few points by spending money. Uh, especially because I have now failed three shipping jobs. <laughs> And uh, you know we, we we really are going for all all the all the special town link stuff. So when you get high enough affection with people, they'll actually let you eat with them too, which is really amazing. Uh, it erases stamina and it counts as eating something. So well, of course it erases stamina. It counts as eating something. Sometimes I say very not well thought out things. So this is the general store. So what do you have for me, general store lady? You've got a hoe, a sickle, these are in case I throw them out. We have some grass seeds and fodder is always good to have because you do not have to water it or anything. So I'm going to grab some grass seeds and I wish those were flowers, but as we found out, they are not. They are wild plants. So good to know. I still want a cow, but I don't know if we can handle it, guys. I don't know if we can handle a cow. We'll get one eventually. And what cow should we get? I don't know. I don't know. Da, 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 da. Let's get some spicy chicken feed, which I believe is what we're using right now. And we'll just pick up a couple more soft, soft treats because we want those animals to really love us because they produce better... Um, actually, they don't produce more? I don't know. I don't know actually what them loving me does in this particular game. In the last game, it was kind of all bundled in together, but I don't think it is for this game. So good to know, a good thing to figure out. Maybe if I just uh, take a quick step back to the farm, I'll, I can find out that information for you. So affection indeed raises the animals, uh, sorry, it means higher star rank for the products for the animals. So that makes a lot of sense. Okay, Pineco has this. She knows how to play this game. Jeepers, guys, we're worried. Ugh, yeah. Pineco, Pineco plays like a pro. So let's get some fodder working here. And this is mostly just for future use, okay? So you don't even have to water it. You just, you just, have to hoe the ground and plant the seeds. Now, I say for future use because fodder is used to make animal food, uh, and when we eventually have the ability to make animal food, we do want to be able to have a lot of fodder on hand. You'll also need other things. It's not just as easy as fodder in this game, but it's 
just a good tidbit of information for you to know. So we're going to put this little chicken dead. I love you, clock. You're amazing. You're going to make me some nice gold eggs someday. So there we go, everyone. I think that is enough for today. So I'm just going to chop down a couple more trees and go save in front of my bed. La -da 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 -da. Gonna chop down this tree. Probably not all the way, though, because... We only have a heart of stamina, and I'm not going to use potato bread, because I'm not really doing anything today. La 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 la. So, as I said, after each episode, we'll just take a quick look at the end of each episode. We're just going to take a quick look and make sure that we've talked to everybody and check out our farm report. So, today we had, you know, uh, like... No, we spent a lot of money, but we haven't earned a lot. But don't worry, we've got we'll get our money for those deliveries we did successfully tomorrow. We haven't shipped a lot of items yet, but that's that's a okay. But biggest thing is resident info, so we do want to make sure that we have talked to everybody in town. Don't have any hearts with anyone yet, and we don't really need to give uh, gifts to people in like in the love interests we should be giving gifts to. But I'm gonna wait until I get more high level gifts uh, for them. So. Uh, they do start selling coffee at the general store and that is the way to make Wayne love you and um, we're going to make sure that we get all of those events. I can't jump on the table. What if I want to jump on my table? Why can't I sit in my chair? Nope. Nope. Alright, so tomorrow is very important because it's going to be Hector's birthday. So don't miss that in our next episode of Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. I hope all of your crops are golden.